with oh, this because I know very little. However, uh, I I've also been playing too. I actually quite enjoy the character. I'm really happy uh, to hear that. Yeah, I I wish I could stop accidentally doing the input for Power Geyser when I'm trying to do Buster Wolf. But, you know, I don't know how that's happening, but it's happening, so it's chill. I'm gonna not play Terry, and I'll let you guys do the work. Just keep um, your control stick on the, like, in the general quarter of where you're facing. So, so you're facing the right, keep your control stick in the bottom right corner. Don't let it drift off to the left, because then you're gonna accidentally get a Power uh, Geyser. Uh, and vice versa. Okay, interesting. Speaking of Power Geyser, we've got Go online right now, but Peach was barely been hit at all. Bust a wolf! Here we go. Uh, <laughs> so Will Peach Fuzz be okay? That's the real question. <laughs> I've said that way too many times already. It's so bad. Oh my god. Oh, what? good DI from Peach. I don't know if that was DI or just poor positioning on Stas' part, or a bit of both. I but have a feeling it was definitely a positioning thing. There's a good forward smash from Peach Fuzz. But yeah, powered uh, up tilt into Power Geyser is generally a true combo. But sometimes, I don't know, Terry's up tilt is very inconsistent in how it functions. I'm guessing there's probably like three different hitboxes on it. One of them probably sends a little bit more straight upward. That's what I feel like would happen there. That makes sense. Anyway, so Stas, she likes to go for, when she reaches over 100%, she always likes to go for down tilt, jab, jab, Buster Wolf. Now, I don't mean to expose Terry because, well, he's my new main, but down tilt, jab, jab, Buster Wolf is not a true combo. But down tilt, jab, one, into Buster Wolf is true, so. Um, so then why do you think, is that just like, you think that's just a, like a, a muscle memory thing? Yeah, because uh, it's kind of like Ryu and Ken where jab one, two, sure you can is a very reliable kill confirm. I think it just carries over from that. And I think it, uh, plus Terry players, oh, that was kind of risky on her part to throw it out, but Terry players probably just anticipate people to not really you know, understand that they can shield or spot dodge the, the Buster Wolf. But for some reason, there's just the perfect amount of hit stun after jab one to connect into a Buster Wolf. Gotcha. I wonder if uh, Power Wave, uh, the bucket of Power Wave, I wonder how powerful that would be. Um, That's a good question. Power Wave, if you do the heavy variant, it does between 10 and 11%. All right. Down smash, not bad. That was down smash? Yeah. It looks like down tilt, dude. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't use down smash when I'm playing Terry. I feel like I'm, most of the time I'm just using up smash, honestly. I love up smash. Oh, dude, Terry's up smash out of shield is like how I got so many of my kills tonight. Really? Like, I mean, yeah, I got a few Buster Wolves, I got a few Rising Tackles, Power Dunks, but up smash out of shield, super consistent. It's like Belmont up B in terms of how quickly it comes out, honestly. It's ridiculous. Rip Belmont, by the way. Character's dead to me with this guy here. That's okay. I'll play Simon in your honor. That's fine. You know what? I respect that. <laughs> I know we had our fair share of Simon versus Richter in the past, but in the end, they're both incredibly good men, so I can't be upset. Okay. Oh, but that is a dead Terry Bogard. Yeah, I would be uh, I would be very upset getting buried. But, you know, it's fine. You, can, uh, the, you know... Look, Stas can bring this back. It's chill. For sure. It's, I think, like, stage pick is going to be really important here. Um, don't pick Battlefield, in my opinion. I think I think that's going to be bad news, Bears. Thing is... Oh! Oh, what do we got? Yes! Let's go! Is this a good one? It is. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Stas! Is, is this the remix of the original? Peach Fuzz, did you pick the remix or the original? Did you pick the remix or original? Solid. The original is better? Yeah. Well, actually, I really like the remix too, but here's a fun fact. So this song plays on Terry's stage, which is like a train. And so listen to the rhythm. It sounds like trains going over a train track. If you can kind of hear that. And the horns are supposed to be like a train whistle, you know? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, I honestly, whenever I play the stage, I am playing soy sauce for geese most of the yes. time. Yeah. I, I usually go with Stormy Saxophone, because that's the theme song of Iori Yagami, who's my favorite SNK character. True, okay. I'm not one to get excited over Mii costumes, but when they announced him as a Mii Brawler, I cracked and bought the uh, the Iori Mii Brawler costume. Let's go, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, Iori. Oh yeah, that song's really good. Yeah. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I'm glad to see you're a man of culture as well. Also, this is Winner's Finals. I just... Realizing that now. Yeah, this is... There's a lot uh, running on this... And 
And Zetarine Peach Fuzz may end up in winner's side of Grants from this. Uh, this would not be the first time. The, in the past little while, Peach Fuzz is actually looking really good for this PR. Oh, definitely. He did take last week's tournament, which was a huge win for him. So uh, who who did he beat to get that? Uh, Father Plum. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Plum was second. Yes. That's also very impressive. I I'm just very proud of everybody. It's it's been an interesting couple weeks. It has. I've kind of fallen off quite a bit, but I've seen so many people on the come up, like Albi and Mortem too. Mortem's been consistently top fiving lately, and I'm super happy it's for him. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Um. Lost to him earlier, we had a really fun set actually, but game three, I was a little, kind of just a little upset about because I air dodged at 40 twice, killing myself, but, oh, okay, I hate that so much, I wish Power Dunk, it has Ken Shoryuken problem except, like, to the exponent of 10, because, but at least it's not like, you're gonna like, eat crap after though, it's I don't like, know, I I died at zero for missing a power dunk, and that's how my but set was that like magic. because you went off stage or like? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because eh. he fell to my power dunk, I was off stage, and I died. Eh. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Oh man, I just. That it buried. I guess. Um, oh. Stoss must have jumped there. What is happening? This, this is looking to be another three stock. Or right, this yeah, smash. Um, fun little piece of trivia in the background. The handsome looking fellow in the white there with the blonde and the red boots, that is Terry's younger brother, Andy. Ah. Um, Andy Bogart. Yes, Andy Bogart. Very, oh, very. That is the second time in a row that's happened so far this set. And, it's and it happened. is the second time that that has been the ending clip. Uh, so, are we. Uh, I, I think we're going to see a character switch. If I, not. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's time. But please keep picking that stage. Oh, okay. All right, I respect it. Xenoblade music, very good. You will know our names. We're gonna, we're gonna see Schluck. Guarantee we're gonna see Schluck. We're gonna see Schluck. I like Schluck. Buster. This is the other the yeah. other character of Buster. She went <laughs> from the Buster Wolf to the Monado Buster. Yeah, yeah. The Buster stuff. Well, uh, uh, no, Buster Sword doesn't work. Cloud has that. Oh my God. Dude, it's it's like an evolutionary line in Pokemon. Lucas Shulk Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's actually like godlike. Oh, I thank you. Why does he lose the sword in the evolution? That's unfortunate. Because he's just so darn powerful, he doesn't need the sword, you know? That's like that's like Shaggy. <laughs> he's only using 5% or 1% of his power. The sword was a way to just like manifest at least like a, a fraction of a percentage of his power, but... Oh okay, so yes, the Shulk pick's going... Oh! I love the way Stas is able to cycle through um, arts so quickly. I think, yeah, like you, you see that, you see that Stas literally instantly went from Smash Mouth to jump. Um, but yeah, uh, good on Peach was there. Shulk's back air has a little bit of startup, so if you can get under the hit, the starting hitbox, you can actually punish him before it even comes out. So that's what um, Peach was said to Stas there. Okay, the shield pressure, very nice. That move is based off of Monado art in, in Xenoblade called Slit Edge. Well, it's not even Monado art, it's just an art that Chulk has, but... Okay. Okay. I don't know about you. No disrespect to Game & Watch players, but... Down Smash and the Forward Smash, on paper, just sounds like one of the most degenerate kill confirms ever, because you're comboing a Smash attack into a Smash attack. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. But... Um... I mean, like, at zero, Doc can do, like, up smash, up B. Oh, I Why? got it. Yo, if we see a 3-0, I kind of want to pop off. It's, it's actually kind of insane. Like, like Game & Watch, dude. Peach Puss. If we see a 3-0, I think Stas is going to go Wii Fit in Grand Finals. <laughs> I'm 95% sure we're going to see Wii Fit. Yeah. I know for a fact that Stas was kind of trying to chill and not play Wii Fit as much. But, like... But after that, like, she was in control of this game. Then the RNG gods were on Peach Fuzz's side, and the odds just turned against her. Ooh, that hit lag. But Peach Fuzz, of course, he is incredible with his DI. He's got a lot of good zeros and ones right now. Oh, yeah, that's some good binary right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. Okay, forward air. Oh, this is a double edged sword right here. Ha, I see. Well, um, some people, 
don't know this, but Monado Smash doesn't just increase the knockback Shulk does, it also increases the knockback he takes as well. Yeah. So that's why I was saying it was like she was really playing with fire there by switching to Monado Smash at a relatively high percent. She's still in this though, but Peach was playing super defensive right now because he has no reason to approach. Still not switching to uh, Shield Monado yet. Yeah, no, I think she's saving it for. Uh... Never saving mind. Saving it to die. You know, it's fine. Yo, <laughs> <Ban> <laughs> stop, stop saying ban hero.